Welcome to another video on data to decisions. In today's video, we'll be building a lollipop chart. A lollipop chart looks like this on the left of your screen. It provides the actual values, or in this case, the metrics by department. And if you think about it, it doesn't really add any more value than the chart on the right, which is a regular column chart. And we've done videos on that before. So why do we do and do the lollipop chart? Purely for aesthetics. Um, to me, I mean, in some dashboards where you want to introduce something different, where you want to attract the user with something different, then the lollipop charts could be helpful. Um, it does look a lot nicer, and it also looks a little bit different than the regular visuals we see uh, on dashboards. So that's why people use it. Uh, and again, we'll learn how to do that. It's very, very quick and easy to do it. Here's the secret. We won't even use a column chart in Microsoft Excel to do this. We'll actually be using a line chart to build a lollipop chart. So without further delay, let's get started. So we start with the raw data as always. So we have the raw data. So what I'm going to do is to go and insert. I am going to insert a 2D line with markers. And as I told you, um, we won't use a column chart. We actually use a line chart. Uh, and what I'm going to do is to right click on the format data series. And you can see that it's a line and I can remove the line. So it only it becomes a no line only marker in chart, and then I'm I can go to the plus and then press on the arrow bars. I'm going to click on this, and then go to more options in the error bars. Go to error bar options. Make sure that we do minus, and then go to percentage option. Make it 100%. So what this does, it drops an error bar. 100%, which means the entire length, and it goes in the minus, which means downward here. And so this achieves our, uh, for the lollipop chart, the stem uh, is now available. So what we need to do is to make sure that this is thick enough. And so I'll go to the fill and line option. And here you can increase the width of this error bar. So I'm going to make it a little bit um, wider. So I'm going to give five points in the width. And it creates something like this. Now, then I'm going to, I want to change the uh, the marker. So if I go here to the series actual, then I can go and change the marker size. And I'm going to click on this and increase the marker. I'll, I'll keep the circle marker, but I'm going to increase the size to 15. It gives me now this appearance. I'm going to right click and add data labels. And I'm going to click on the label and I can position the label as a center. And then I can change the font color. It makes it white with a red fill. So it looks a little bit uh, more clear. And again, the choice of colors, um, you can make changes to the colors. Uh, for example, if you want to change the color marker from red, go here to the fill and line. And uh, make sure you select the series. So if I'm clicking on the marker, and you can always go here. If it's kind of hard to pick the series versus the label, you can always go here, choose the series, not the label series, but the series of the actual. In this case, I've named it actual. And you can go to the fill in line and go to the marker. You can change the color of the marker to any of these other colors. There we go. Um, so just to recap, the main things we are doing is creating a line chart with markers. And go to the line. Make sure you remove the line so it's no line. Go to the marker and then choose. make sure that you choose one of the built-in options. I chose the circle. And I increase the size. And I'm going to, I can change the fill color to something. And I can also change the uh, border for the marker. So let's say I want the border to be also green. I can change that. So you have full control over um, the design elements within this lollipop chart. And then for the error bars, it was very easy clicking and selecting the error bars. The important part of the error bars is when you go here, make sure that you set it to 100% choose minus. That's it. So very, very simple, quick way to create a lollipop chart. I'm going to just do some um, usual formatting, like making sure that the grid lines 
don't take up a lot of attention. Make sure that actions by department, so I can put a title. And do a little bit of formatting with the title. And then if in case I wanted my x-axis titles and the y-axis titles, I will then go ahead and add them. In this case, I think it's very self-explanatory, so I don't need to add them. Uh, and then finally, I'll put a border around my chart. So click on the chart outside, go to border, select a color for your border. I'm going to choose rounded corners. That will give us this appearance of a lollipop chart. And if, for example, sales becomes 40, you will see that automatically the chart updates and then the lollipop chart still remains the lollipop chart with the formatting. There is one more method by which we can build a lollipop chart. I found this method to be slightly um, better, but um, if you are looking for another solution, please let me know. I'll do another video on this. Uh, and also, if you have better methods by which you create lollipop charts, please let me know. I look forward to learning from you. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you soon in another video.